What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the Pink Diamond Dirk Nowitzki card. So this is obviously a card that was released today, it is one of the new moments cards in NBA 2K19 my team, and is a really really nice card. 97 offense, 87 defense overall, obviously he does leave a lot to be desired um, in some areas, but there's certain things that this Dirk Nowitzki can do, which is absolutely incredible for a 7 footer. He's got 8 Hall of Fame badges, put back King, Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot, Tireless Score, Deep Range Jedi, Limitless Range, Pick and Pop, Very Difficult Shots, as well as 10 Goal Badges. There is currently, as far as I know, no Limitless Range Shooters that are taller than 6 foot 9. However, Dirk Nowitzki is 7 foot tall. Dirk Nowitzki basically allows a legitimate all Limitless Range squad to be put together without using things like Kevin Durant at center. Dirk Nowitzki is probably going to be the only big man in the game this year with Hall of Fame Limitless Range, so... Um, I'm just happy that we've got him. He is going to be a really nice card for that reason. He has got, obviously, a 99 post fadeaway. Home shot mid 96, home shot 3, um, 95. He has got 95 free throw. He has got uh, terrible ball control, bad passing. So that's not a great driving dunk. Block rating of 80 is not bad. Shot contest of 85 is okay. He's got decent box head, good enough rebounding stats, okay speed and acceleration. Lateral quickness for 70 is not terrible. A um, all defense like you of 84 is okay. But overall, not a great defender. And the guy who... Um, his account I'm using, he asked me to put this specific shoe on him, the air foam puzzle 1, which basically gives me 99 open shot 3, so I am not complaining too much. So anyway, the team we are running with is Magic Johnson at the 1, JR at the 2, Larry Bird at the 3, Carmelo at the 4, and Dirk at the 5. The bench we have got LeBron at the 1, Kevin Durant at the 2, Giannis at the 3, Anthony Davis at the 4, and Blake Griffin at the 5. I'm going to swap that up and play Blake at the 4 and Davis at the 5, with Melo, Oscar Robertson, and Kobe Bryant randomly off the bench. I'm going to actually replace Kobe with Wilt. Just for a little bit more height, just in case we need a big man in or I want to play Dirk to power forward. But yeah, so this is the team we are running with. The Dirk card should be quite good, and this is definitely one of the best lineups in the game. Carmelo's a beast. Blake Griffin's a beast, and I'm actually going to change this up. I'm going to play Carmelo with Blake, just so that I want to see how these guys run together. And just for more defense, I'm going to put Anthony Davis in starting five. So, yep, this is the lineup we are going to be using for this game. The bench is super, super OP, and the stars are really good. So now we're going to go over the hot zones for Dirk Nowitzki, then we are going to get on to the game. So Dirk Nowitzki has got hot zones pretty much everywhere on the floor. Um, He's got one spot that's not hot. Dirk Nowitzki, obviously, jumper is it's a little bit long, but it's not too bad. He's got limitless range, so even pulling from here makes absolutely no difference. So he does catch the ball a little bit deep, he can hit those type of shots. And also, he does have Hall of Fame difficult shots. So those one-legged running flow uh, fadeaway threes can go in. That's my goal is to hit at least one of those in the game. Hit one limitless range, running, one-legged fadeaway Dirk three. Because I was shooting around with him earlier, and he can actually hit them quite well. Dirk's fadeaway. It's okay. Go in middle, it's decent. Um, I wish, like, Dirk's fadeaway used to be a lot more overpowered in previous years. However, this year, post-fades, well, not really this year, since, like, 2K17 post-fades have been really kind of underwhelming so it's really not the best for that but he still should be quite good for some difficult shots jump shots again those one-legged fadeaway leaning threes could be quite a nice shot and there's no reason why this guy shouldn't be one of the better guys to run especially at the center position in game he should be able to shoot from almost anywhere should be able to shoot a lot of different ways and as far as big men shooting big men go there's no reason why he shouldn't be up there with the best of them in the game especially with that hall of fame difficult shots and hall of fame limitless badge which badges which are super op and if he does get shot creator takeover, you better believe I'm shooting one leg of fadeaway threes exclusively, pretty much. I actually haven't, I'm not even sure if I've hit one of them in this uh, warm up, even though I was hitting a lot of them earlier. Actually, I haven't hit one of them. That is madness. Really not shooting well in the fadeaway threes. But uh, anyway, now it's just green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against Ray Allen, Russell Westbrook, Klein Drexler, Kawhi, and Greg Oden. Quite a decent team, but obviously there are better teams. An overall cheeser as well, but hey, still will be a decent enough lineup and hopefully it's a good enough matchup. And this game's not happening. Nope, he quit. Okay, so we're playing against a little bit of a worse team, but I'm guessing this guy won't even start the game, to be completely honest. Let's run the pick and pop. Dirk Nowitzki from a little bit deep. Knocks down to three. Let's go. The start of the game. Let's go another pick and pop. Down in the post. Dirk Nowitzki gets that little bit of space. Oh, come on. That was a bad release. That's not a good shot though by Penny, is it? Let's go, Dirk. Someone set him screen. Come on. 
Let him screen, AD. Oh, step back. One-legged fadeaway jumper. Dirk Nowitzki knocks it down. Let's go. Oh, my God. Couldn't hit one of them shoot around. Hit one to start the game. That is as crazy as a shot as I think I have ever hit in a 2K game. Like, that shot was mad. Bang. There we go, Dirk. To be fair, when Dirk is open, he's money. He's just not open that often. Fade away from Dirk. Can't hit it. Can't hit a fade away over Penny Hardaway. Put board. Uh, Malone. I was out of that. Into the Giannis in the corner. Into Blake Griffin. Can't rebound it. Fake. Kevin out in the corner. Burn him. Giannis in the corner. It's all good. Giannis got a 99 post fadeaway as well. That's easy. Let's go. Alright, Stan is back in, and I was actually doing something during that first quarter, so at least I'll have a little bit more focus now. Hit him wide open for three. Green light. Good shot, Dirk. Good job. Let's go to Magic. Let's find Dirk. From Limitless. Green light. He can just pull it from everywhere. It's actually, it's getting hard for me to get shots off of them. A lot of them are coming up as heavily contested. That was not meant to be a layup. Luckily, I put that one in. That was 100% meant to be a fake. One dribble, fade away in their faces. Dirk Nowitzki can't put it in. Uh, I could have definitely used better cards this year. I have definitely used better big men. There we go. Like he is missing an awful lot of fades, which are shots you'd expect to be going in with him. There we go. Nice shot. Good pass, Giannis. Nice dunk by Blake. All right, this game's a little bit too close now. Let's go into the press and let's blitz him. There we go. Nice shot, Dirk. Are we 9 of 28 with Dirk? We're shooting like 30-something percent. That's open, that's open, that's open. Come on, Dirk. Oh, everything's lightly contested. From deep, post fade. Nothing, can't hit anything. Like for three, good. There we go. Three point lead, we have not played well in this game at all. We're still ahead. Luckily ahead, but. Look, whether it's a one point win or a 30 point win, a win is a win. Okay, a big couple of minutes here, and we'll have this game one. Giannis, two, green. All right. Come on, we need to start getting a couple of, st couple of stops. Like, it's only a seven-point game. And then I know where we let him bring make it a one-point game again. Attack the basket. Hit Blake. It's good. Maybe not. One more to LeBron. That's definitely good. Leak out. Get LeBron. The pass Blake. And that's an easy dunk. Good, good, solid end to the third quarter. And we should be okay to win it out from here. Not a good shot there by Jamal Mashburn. Let's go. Push Giannis. To LeBron. The Blake. Wide open for three. Easy three. Into Blake. They're not really guarding much there, are they? Apparently that's heavily contested. That's open for White, and Carmelo makes it a 12-point game. Okay, hand in his face, Dirk Nowitzki knocks in the three. Let's go. And that's a rage quit. So anyway, that's the video. Dirk Nowitzki, yeah, that release is just a little bit long to be super, super effective. Is Dirk a good card? Yes. Is Dirk a great card? Yes. Like, I'm not going to argue that Dirk is not a very good card in NBA 2K19, my team, because it's obvious that Dirk is. His chance of time is to look for a center. Obviously, I'd put, use Wilt over him. I think he's a little bit too small to play at the four. I would use, I don't know, I'd probably use Greg Oden over him. I'd probably use Hakeem. I'd definitely use David Robinson over him. Um, there's a lot of cards. Like, I know he's got limitless range. He's got some badges. Obviously, Sabonis is much better. It's just, there's a lot of things this card doesn't do well. He is slow. He's got a really slow release. The fadeaway animation 
uh, gets contested an awful lot and yeah like it there is a lot it does leave a lot to be desired even though as you guys know it is like a really good card can do a lot of things and is the biggest guy in the game with, with half fame limitless range but for a kind of like this for a center anyway i think goal limitless range is enough you don't need to pull from everywhere it is kind of fun shooting those one legged floater th or fadeaway threes but how often do they go in not really that often so anyway yep that is the video this is the pink diamond Dirk nowitzki gameplay thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe